All right, 99% of you guys are gonna get this question wrong. So you might think the answer is one, but these two are actually two different numbers because what we have to do is go from top to bottom. So in this case, we have to do three to the second as well as two to the third to evaluate each one. Now three to the second basically means it's just three times three, which is nine. So this becomes five to the ninth power divided by over here, we have two to the third, which means that we're multiplying two, three times. So this becomes two times two times two, two times two is four, four times two is eight. So this becomes five to the eighth power. Now, how do we divide fractions with the same base? We have to remember this rule. X to the A divided by X to the B is equal to X to the A minus B. So in this case, this is actually just equal to five to the nine minus eight, A minus B, subtract these two. And then that's gonna give us five to the nine minus one, which is one. And remember any number X to the first power is always equal to itself. So in this case, five to the one is just equal to five. Therefore, your answer to the super viral math question is gonna have to be five. I agree with the video. Most people would probably get it wrong, especially people who do not have a good understanding of how exponents work. My only concern is that those same people who would get it wrong after watching the video will still have no idea why they were getting one as an answer as opposed to five. And here's why. This is because the video shows the correct steps to find the answer, but does not pinpoint fundamental misunderstanding that people have that lead them to think that the answer is one. Most people would get it wrong because they do not know how important parentheses are when it comes to dealing with exponent. So five to the third power parentheses to the second power is indeed the same as five to the second power parentheses raised to the third power. However, in this video, there are no parentheses which is a totally different problem. This issue arises because people do not have a good understanding of how the rules properly work and because they do not know why they're getting the wrong answers. If you want to stop memorizing exponent rules and start understanding the patterns that make all math make sense, I've got strategies that transform rule followers into confident problem solvers. Follow me for more insights that help students see the logic behind the math and not just the steps to follow.